Hey there friends, it's Nick. Right, I want to talk a little bit about the vulnerability in storytelling because um, something came up over the weekend. As you may know, the Irish lost to the All Blacks at rugby, in the Rugby World Cup this weekend. And um, Guinness, who are perhaps the prototypical Irish brand, came out with this brilliant piece of reactive marketing. And props to Chris Branch on LinkedIn for sharing this, but here's the line. <laughs> Have a pint of Carlsberg. We're officially done with the colour black today. And then just the Guinness logo underneath. And um, so a really nice piece of work. And I think there are a couple of interesting things about it. One, funnily enough, is that I think that line would work just as well if Ireland had won. Have a pint of Carlsberg. We're officially done with the colour black today. It works just as well, I think. And um, the reason it works just as well is because this is about... Um, highlighted vulnerability. So I think in storytelling, you've got two kinds of vulnerability. The first is perceived vulnerability, where, um, you know, if we, if we look at something, if we look at a character or a business or something, and it's clearly in trouble, there is a vulnerability there. And that is perceived vulnerability. And that is kind of a, you know, a full on kind of negative. But the other kind, I mean, in this case, Guinness have highlighted a vulnerability, we've taken a hit, you know, we've taken a hit and we're, we're not advertising today to have a pint of Carlsberg. But actually, when you promote your own vulnerability, something interesting happens because it actually speaks of strength. Yeah. And um, the reason it speaks of strength, I've talked in other videos about how, you know, stories are not just long rambling things that have a beginning and middle and end. There's something we're doing all the time. We're telling, telling stories all the time. And when we see a piece of advertising like that, um, well, first of all, it engages because it surprises and maybe it makes a smile, a wry smile, but a smile nonetheless. And it speaks of strength because we tell ourselves a story about, um, about Guinness as a brand. And the story is the kind of the sub story, the meta story, if you like, is Guinness is strong enough and confident enough to do this, to, um, <laughs> to promote another company's products. And funnily enough, we used to do a similar thing at the agency, you know, I, because, because we wanted to put our weaknesses right out there at the front in, you know, in pitches and um, in documents. I quite often said, this is what we do, but if you're looking for X or Y or Z, you know, I recommend you, you know, you go to another company. And um, it does the same thing. It, prom it promotes and predicts strength. And I think in our stories, you know, I talk about in the kind of origin stories that I write for clients, whether they're, you know, people, products, businesses, brands, whatever. Um, the strategic use of vulnerability to engage your audience and, um, and to speak of strength is really, really powerful. And uh, I think it's just a good example of how Guinness did that over the weekend. Thanks very much. This is StoryHacker.tv. I'm Nick Warren. Uh, see you in another video.